do this quick before my kid gets home. Let's get the Vaseline on. Okay, this is so awkward. Oh my god. Hey YouTube, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been about like two years, probably three by the time this goes up. Yes, yeah, so it's been about two years, I think, since I last uploaded. No, that's a lie. I uploaded like a little snap video, I think it was about when I was pregnant, so, like a year ago. Yes, guys, I have a whole child, like a whole lot to change in these two to three years. So, I thought since when I first started this channel, just doing my vlogs, because I wasn't even really doing YouTube for YouTube's sake, I was doing it for like the memories, you know, video memories, you know, video logging. Yeah, so this is so awkward for me, but yeah. So I said, okay, I didn't start off the right way. And you guys, if you guys don't know who I am already from like real life, then you don't know nothing about me. So we are going to do a Q&A. So if you see me looking down, I'm currently filming on my phone. So hopefully, you know, it comes out good. Filming on my phone, so... I have all the questions that I'm gonna answer on the laptop in front of me. So that's what I'm looking down at. Um, if you guys ever see my setup right now, somebody would make me a GoFundMe like ASAP, but we're not gonna talk about that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I asked everybody, to send me some questions just to let you guys know a little bit about me the basics so my name my name's k well that's what everybody calls me k if you hear my real name in the video then you'll hear it but that's what we're all gonna call me okay okay i'm 22 i just turned 22 one time for the birthday bitch two times for the birthday bitch three times for the birthday bitch fuck it up if it's your 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 birthday bitch you a bad bitch and it's your birthday sadly i didn't want to age past 21 but whatever i live in toronto I'm not gonna say exactly where, but Toronto, yeah. If you know it, then you guys, look right now I'm currently a student, currently a student at Seneca College. I could say that because nobody knows what campus or anything. So there's a few spicy questions in here. I'm just gonna let you guys know that from now. I didn't put them in a particular order, so I want everybody to watch the full video, okay? Watch from now till the ending when I say subscribe and all of that stuff. What do I like to do in my spare time? Well, since I am a mother now, my spare time, I don't really do anything. Like right now it's my spare time. My son's gone with his godfather and this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to make a comeback. I just like to relax. Inhale, exhale a little bit. And read too. Reading is like number one for me. Where is my favorite place to travel to? Um, believe it or not, I only travel to one place, and that one place is in my vlog, so you guys already know what it is. It's Jamaica. Okay, why did I stop vlogging? So, it's a long story, but I'm just gonna give it to you guys. I'm just gonna give it to you guys straight. I'm just gonna give it to you guys straight. So, mom. Drop and broke. I get a 
break completely. The first drop, the screen, something wrong with the screen. And it kept like flickering, like the light was flickering, but you could still use it. Like, like if I had epilepsy, I would have been having seizures like, on that laptop. But yeah, I was holding on. Um, then the laptop dropped again. Don't ask me what I was doing to drop my laptop every second. I didn't drop my baby though. So. It is what it is. So I stopped vlogging because of a series of Mitch. A series of misfortunate events. Will I consider daily vlogging? Um, no, I won't. Not right now because I'm in school, obviously. Now it's my winter break. First semester is finished, so I would do as much as I can right now, but daily, that would be a lot. Like, my son's super bad. I'm gonna put a picture over here. Extra cute, but he's extra rude. Um, what was my reaction? What was my reaction when I found out I was pregnant? Like, I wasn't shocked. But I knew. Like, I just knew. And then, I'm gonna do story time. I just knew, guys. I knew. When the doctor said it, I was like, okay. Like, let's get the show on the road. What age did I lose my virginity? Hmm, getting spicy, eh? Do I want to say this? I feel like I was young, but at the same time, when it happened, I didn't do it again for like another year. If that saves me, I was 15 years old, but if it's any consolation, it took place with my son's father, my current boyfriend, so I feel like that should save me, right? We did it young, but we did it for a reason. Okay, when is baby number two? Baby number two is scheduled to arrive about 2023, thinking, when my son is about five. How many kids do I want? It depends. Some days I'll say I want two, but then two feels like, you know, it's not enough. Then I have to have three, but then three feels uneven. Four seems like, they're gonna like gang up together like it's gonna be two against two i don't know at first like i would say i want i wanted six but they're expensive so we'll see next question what are my future goals my current goals right now is to own a house well even though it's not gonna happen now but i guess it's future very nice house a goal of mine is to be financially stable. My main goal in everything I do is just stability. Like, my relationship, like, me being a parent. I want to be able to be consistent. I want a Cadillac. That's what I want. I want a Cadillac. That's, that's a goal of mine. And another thing that's very important to me, a future goal of mine is to have a career that I love. Okay, Nicki or Cardi? It's not even a question. Nicki Minaj all day. Like, come on. I'm not a barb, but I'm a barb. And it's not even that I love her so much, but it's the fact that I love her more than Cardi B. Like, I respect Cardi B, obviously. I know she's doing her thing, but to me, when it comes to music, Cardi has punchlines. You know, she has those songs for the girls, but. I feel like my hands look so dumb. They could go on still, they could go on, but she has an accent and I don't like it. Kim Norris is just coming at these girls next, like always. So the next question is, how is it in a long distance relationship? It's hard, obviously, you know, it's hard. You know, you want to go home to your man. I want to go home to him every night, every night, but you know, I can't. It's hard, but once you have the communication and like a certain amount of respect for each other, a certain amount of understanding, and once you can get past the fact that you can't see them all the time and you're not gonna know what they're doing, it could go on, still could go on. I don't mind right now because it's been like, what, three years? Obviously there's ups and downs, but I'm gonna have to make a whole another video about that topic because I have story times for days. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, I don't even know if I want to put them out there because people might want to fight me, but I don't really care. So, 
so yeah how is it in a long distance relationship is hard but it's worth it when you both are on the same page it's worth it who i'm in a long distance relationship with is my son's father which i'll tell you guys more about that situation maybe still doing a stick of shit next question where do you see yourself in five years i just want to be comfortable i want to be just comfortable five years from now i shouldn't be i shouldn't be worrying about small things I shouldn't have to worry about anything that can make me uncomfortable or me or my children uncomfortable so i should be picking up shamar and heels how has becoming a mother changed me how has becoming a mother changed me becoming a mother taught me that in everything i do i have to consider somebody else and last question what have you learned in adulthood that you weren't expecting i learned that if i don't save my damn money making money means nothing what's the point of making money if you're not saving it and i wasn't expecting that <laughs> i i spend like i don't have no sense but we try to save for a rainy day and the rainy days just keep coming <laughs> I didn't expect that saving was so important. Like, it's so important, guys. You guys do not know. Save. Save your money. I like jewelry and, you know, I spend dumb. And then I end up losing them or, you know, some stupid shit. And then there goes my money. So the thing that I learned in adulthood. That I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting that I would want to grow down. Like I don't want to get any older. I just I want to stay here. Guys, that's it. That is it. That's it for today's video. So comment down below how I did. This was so awkward. Like I feel so awkward in front of the camera. I'm gonna be watching this back. I'm gonna be cringing. Like. I'm gonna make some clickbait as title for all the false people to come watch me. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you're new, subscribe, like, comment, all of that good stuff. Yes, thank you guys for watching me. And to everybody who's been subscribed to me from like 2015, 2016, thank you. Because if I was able to hit that unsubscribe, because I would have been thinking that bitch is not consistent, she's not dedicated. So thank you guys, okay? Thank you guys. See you in my other videos.